Are there countries that you automatically think you'd never visit because they're not quote unquote Muslim friendly? Can you think of a country that when it comes to mind, you say to yourself, nah, they probably don't have halal food available. And anyway, I'm probably going to stick out and be the only Muslim around. I used to think like this. Being visibly Muslim at home can be tricky at times, let alone while navigating a foreign country. Who needs that kind of awkwardness on holiday? The thing is, what you and I see of a country through social media and websites and magazines is usually only what destination marketers have carefully curated for you to see. Take Barbados. This beautiful Caribbean island is popularly seen as a playground for the rich and famous. But what if I told you that you could swim in your burkini in the morning, pray at one of the several local mosques at midday and enjoy dinner in an outdoor halal restaurant in the evening? In this episode, I'm joined by local Barbadian Muslims Suleiman and Farhan Bulbulia a powerful father-daughter duo with vital leadership roles in the local Muslim community. Today, they're going to be giving you an exclusive insight into what it's like being Muslim in Barbados. Let's go. 